can just feel something watching you. Dishes flying across the kitchen all the time. Really loud knocking on the walls. And do you think whatever's in the house could be demonic? It has to be extremely evil. It's been feeding off of sadness and negativity for a long time. They found the gun on the floor there. They found him here. He just got up and left and went home, and then it happened. He shot himself. The incident had happened around midnight of that day. If there is something there, it would had to have been something that was already there. You can just feel something watching you or being with you at all times. I always felt like something was watching me or being next to me. It's, when I was younger, I just thought it was just me. Maybe I was scared of something that wasn't there, but the uneasy feelings is, it's hard to ignore the negative feelings, being scared or being angry for no reason at all. You just can't ignore those things. Dishes flying across the kitchen all the time. Dishes would just fall. Footsteps. And knocks on the walls, definitely, a lot. Really loud knocking on the walls. Going into a, a deep, deep depression or being extremely angry for no reason. I don't even think anger is the word. More like enraged, constantly being enraged. And not just me, my mom, my dad, and my brothers both. There was just so much negativity all the time. We didn't talk about God or anything, so we didn't have Bibles or crosses or anything in the house, I guess you would use as protection, but just constantly being furiated all the time, all of us, including the violence. It was awful. And after I had moved out of the home, I am definitely a totally different person, as is my mother and my other younger brother. But my father and my young brother who had passed away, they stayed and they are still definitely extremely angry. And my father is definitely. It's overwhelming. Friends, a lot when I was younger, they didn't wanna come over friends of my brothers now they feel it when they walk in they feel their chest get tight and they're just extremely like the negativity is overwhelming for me obviously some of my negative feelings come from living in the home for so many years and my brother passing away in the home didn't make it any better he would just be so angry like his fists would clench and like his veins would pop out. He weirdly used to rip his eyelashes out of his eyes and he used to pull out his hair. She said that he always said that something was telling him to kill himself. You could definitely see in his eyes that he was scared. If something was always constantly whispering in his ear, telling him to be angry or telling us to leave him alone that maybe his his soul was just so sad and weak that something attached to him a long time ago that night my brother begged his girlfriend to come stay the night with him he just kept begging her and she just kept saying no and she says he just stopped talking he just got up and left and went home and then it happened he shot himself. She was calling him and calling him, trying to get him to answer the phone. And when he wouldn't answer the phone, she got up and she went to the house and she found him. He did it on, in my father's bedroom on his bed. I went to my dad's house after everything, you know, had been cleaned up and such. And I went to his room because I thought at the moment, maybe I could go through his Facebook messages and see if something else had happened. But there was nothing on his Facebook, nothing on his phone. So I sat in the room and you know, I was just like laying on his bed and smelling his clothes and just sitting there. 
well, my dad was taking a shower and I was sitting in his computer chair, the back of my head and just all of my back was just extremely tingly. It was an extreme tingle, like an, like a vibration almost and like a, a numbing feeling in the back of your head. And I feel like it was him. I just want him to know that everything where we are in this human life is okay. He, he doesn't need to be sorry for what he did. I, I want him to be at peace. I want to know that he's at peace. And I want him to know that he's welcome to come visit me or try to contact me. I miss him a lot. I just feel like I didn't get enough time with him. I just want to know he's okay. And that's all I'm worried about. It didn't happen because something made him do it. But I feel that that's not the case. Shame on it for taking my baby brother. There was no reason for that. There was no need for that. I mean, you've seen enough on your own that I trust that you know how to make the best decision. There are no words to say how thankful I am that somebody is doing something for me that I personally cannot do. I'm super grateful. And how do you think your dad's gonna react with us investigating the house? He does know that you are coming. He, he is allowing you to be there and he's angry towards everybody. So if he's angry towards you, just let it go. Unless you, by any chance, do get there and he's like super drunk by any chance. If he starts getting a little violent, then I would say just drop it and leave. My brothers and I have decided to travel out to Illinois and see if we can get Kina and her family some answers as to what's taking place inside their home. She used to live in the house and she talked about like everybody inside the house were like super aggressive and angry all the time. You know, was his goal to commit suicide? Was it an accident? Because people inside the house have been saying that they've heard his voice come through like the static on the TV. So is there something demonic inside the house that causes all this anger? But the big thing is right now, get to the house, see if the dad's gonna let us do this. After making the four hour drive to the house, we still have no idea if Kena's father will allow this investigation to take place. For safety reasons, I have asked both Rocky and Sean to remain in the car. How you doing, Josh Foreman? Better than some, worse than most. What else do you need from me? Are you guys open to talking about anything or? I didn't know if you were open to it or if it's just something you don't wanna. I'm at peace. Right. And like I said, we're not here to stir up anything. It's just, you know, she had contacted us because what my brothers and I do, we travel all over the country. Right, that's what she said. You know, working with families and was there something in the house, you know, because the stuff leading up beforehand that could have contributed to it. And is he at peace? I feel that he's at peace. We have fought the demons that he had for so long. And recent events that happened, he just, the weapon that he used was his. When he's seen the remains, it looked like that he made the decision not to, but it was an accidental discharge. You know, was this something that was just an accident or was it intentional? He was to the point to where that the fact that he used that particular firearm, that particular load, he was on the edge. And when he decided not to, when he came to the realization that that's not what I want to do, he hit the trigger and it went off. That's why PD thought that there was, there might be something fictitious 
and in their investigation, they found out that, you know, he probably decided, no, this is not what I wanted to do and touched the trigger and it went off. But then again, you might come in here and find something that you didn't expect because this ground is, all of this ground is haunted. These are the shells that went in his gun. There's five missing. I found those right there. He sat down on the bed, opened up the dresser drawer, pulled his gun out. They said he sat up on the edge of the bed for a little while and then fell over. They found the gun on the floor there. They found him here. His girlfriend is the one that found his body. Said that his dog was up here trying to get him up. Kenna's dog was trying to get on the bed, but she's old and can't jump no more and was trying to get on the bed to get at him to get him up. This was never here before. There is nothing in that. The round never came out his head. Any spirits or demonic entities inside this house? My name's Josh, this is Rocky and Sean. We're here tonight to communicate with you. For our investigation, we have asked the family to leave the house. Our hope is to find out if there is something in this house causing everyone to be angry. And did something evil cause Joseph to commit suicide? Or was his death just a tragic accident? If there's anyone in this house, make your presence known right now. This room does have a weird feeling, doesn't it? If you're in this room, can you knock on something or give us a sign? That's one thing everybody's talked about experiencing here is their chest would be tight, being scratched, touched, anger, hatred. Are you playing on people's emotions? Who's in this house? The sad thing is this is where you know, Joe came in and sat down on this bed right here. Were you in Joe's head talking to him? Joe, we had a chance to talk with your sister. That was like three knocks. They got in the living room. Or back here in the other room. It feels like it's getting colder right now. Mm -hmm. Joe, we had a chance to talk with your sister. Joe, we had a chance to talk with your sister. Three knocks and the temperature's going down. You can see I got goosebumps. Yeah, I can feel it. It was like when I t started talking about Joe. Yeah, because my back's starting. I think it's right behind me. Oh, my I feel it right here. My back's getting cold right now. Who knocked? Who knocked? Who knocked? Like a growling sound. If you're in here, it's okay to communicate with us. We just want to talk to you. We talked with your sister and she was just worried and wanted us to come out and see if we could communicate with you and find out what happened and why everything took place. Come forward and show yourself. My legs are like real weak. Shaking. We've got alarms throughout this house. That's two more knocks. You just hear that? Sound oh. like it is a voice. In here or out there? It sounded like it was just right down here when he was talking. You're doing a good job trying to communicate with us. 
I know it's got to take a lot of energy and you may be scared, but I promise we cannot hurt you. We're not here to hurt you. Can you do something very big and significant to validate that you're in here? As soon as we hear those knocks, you feel the temperature? I mean, I got goosebumps again. It's right here, it's cold. Right Who's in here? Can you come up and touch me? Do you hear that? Are you knocking in here? Hear that piano? There's a voice. Did you just hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's back over to you. Yeah, it was right here off to the right. Who's the female that was talking? It's like it's changing voices. We've got an alarm in this room. If you come over near this bed, you'll set our alarm off. That will help validate that you're in here. So this was the son's bedroom. We already know that you have the power to touch people, scratch people. They see you throughout the house, play with their emotions and maybe even worse. So don't be shy. Come out and make yourself known right now. Did you have anything to do with the death that took place inside this home? Prove to us how powerful you are. Are you a coward? You can only pick on people that are weak. Sound like a voice said Rocky. Sound like a voice said Rocky. I like goes Rocky. If you're in here, can you tell me your name? Ooh. Out here, Sean. Growling sound right come out here. Right in here, I think. Are you the one that touched somebody in here? Are you attached to this house or the land? You're in here, come up to me. Why don't we head back into the bedroom and go ahead and try the ghost box. Okay. By running the spirit box in the bedroom, we hope to make communication with any spirits that may be inside this house. Joe, are you with us right now? Yes. Yes. 
Joe, am I standing where it happened at? Yeah. Mm. Joe, was it an accident? Joe, was it an accident? Joe, if you are here with me, is there another spirit here with you? No way. Did you hear that? What happened to the ceiling? What is that? Something. Can something say my name? That's Sean, you look fat. You look fat. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Thank you good. for calling Sean fat, not me. I don't give a headache. Somebody else got a headache? No. Who am I talking to? This ain't Joe. There you go. Talk to her. Oh, turn that down. What was it? Who's what? in here with us? Did you do something to Joe? Do you like it when people get mad? And these headaches are freaking I've never had. And I don't get headaches. It's like shooting through, like my eye right here. Yeah. I'm just a real sharp pain. You need to go outside? I need to step out of this room for a second. I'm getting chest pains. You asked me to be quiet. Come forward, show yourself. Go. Let's try to get the camera over here and get this thing. You need your belt? Yeah, I just got them, so. Do that again. What's that? You hear it? A whistle? Go back there and see what's back there. Somebody in here? If you want to play on people's emotions, we're all three right here. You can do it to us. Growling? Are you giving Josh a headache? You can't get in his head, he's too strong for you. Does that scare you? Did you hear that? Hey, Shh. Yeah, okay, stop. Stop. I got a cool chill. Okay, hold on. It's right here with me. Does it scare you that Josh is so strong? You can't hurt us. Why am I hearing voices and are you guys not hearing those voices? I've had like a migraine headache once in my life. And it was like that, that sharp pain, it like shot through here and like right between my eyes. And the minute I left that room and came out here, it left. And why am I hearing these voices like plain as day in my head, but you guys aren't hearing them? Do you think that's weird? Yeah. So what if whatever's in this house is trying to get into my head. What if I take the camera 
and the spirit box back into that bedroom, close the door, and just run a session. That was loud. Maybe it wants me back in that bedroom. You still gotta stay strong, okay? Yeah. Follow me back there and then I'll go. The strange thing about being inside this house is the constant headaches and at the same time hearing these mysterious voices in my head. Even stranger, these mysterious voices are not picked up on any of our recording equipment. Joe, just in case you're inside this house, inside this room, you know, I know what happened here and I know what took place. I'm just here to talk to you and get some answers for your sister and your mom and your family. Can you hear me, yes or no? <gasps> oh, no way. Can you hear me, yes or no? <gasps> oh, no way. Who is this? Was it an accident? Did the gun accidentally go off? Who's in this room with me right now? Can you come up here and touch me? Have you always been in this house? What are you? Are you not human? Say yourself. Right before you went in that bedroom, it was weird. When I was, cause I was walking behind you guys, I got like mixed feelings. That was, I mean, whether it was sad, angry, emotional, just whatever. But. I kind of closed my eyes for like that split second or whatever. It's like I could picture, it was kind of like deja vu in a way that was weird. And that's what it kind of felt like. It felt like somebody was crouched down with their knees like in their chest, holding their knees and their head like between their... It was a woman. It was like they was against the wall, then, sitting in that bedroom in there. You remember that spot I kept telling you to stand? Mm-hmm. It was like that's where they were sitting. Got the headache? I only get the headache when I get back in that room. Well, I think we just need to go in there and ask the questions and do the ghost bumps before something happens. I always need to go. I always need to If you're back in the bedroom where something bad happened, can you give us a sign? Talk to us. Your sister says she loves you and misses you. Do you need help to be at peace or are you at peace right now? If you're at peace, give us a sign. something right there and it's gotten it's intensified the more questions you ask it gets stronger and it just feels like a pen you know not like uh, this whole area it's just right there that's where I got mine I 
I mean, it feels like a pin right here, but then it feels like pressure throughout my whole head. But like this, I don't feel nothing right there. It's just here. And I got cold chills, I mean, bad. All through my whole back, my arms, my legs. If you're affecting Sean, do something bigger right now. Show Sean that you're the boss. Show him how strong you are. What do you want Sean to do? What do you want to make Sean do? I can't get rid of my freaking headache. I know, but you can't not film him getting a headache. Huh? Yeah, but we don't need 20 hours of the spirit box either. But that's what we're here for. I know, but is stupid. After being in the home for several hours, my brothers and I are showing signs of extreme headaches, fatigue, and anger. Whoever's in this house, show yourself right now because I'm getting pissed. I think you're a coward. I think you feed off people's weaknesses. Boom, boom. What's going on? I just feel real dizzy right now. I just came out of the bedroom. I feel like I'm very pass out. Legs are like real weak. You just think it's time to get out of the house? For the safety of my brothers and I, I have decided to end this investigation and move forward with the cleansing. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Something just touched me. I said something just touched my arm. Right now it's your time to go. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Joe, if you're in here or if you're in this house, we want you to be at peace. You can go be at peace. Everybody forgives you. They miss you and love you, but it's time for you to move on if you are here. And Joe, we just pray that you're at peace now and let you know that your family loves you and forgives you. Although we may never fully understand why Joseph chose to take his life, we can just pray that he is finally at peace. So you didn't want your identity to be on camera because of everything that's going on inside this house. My brothers and I were recently contacted by twin sisters from Cincinnati, Ohio. The sisters claim they are being physically attacked by demonic forces. I must warn you, the story you are about to hear is extremely graphic. And it tells me it's a demon. It talks, it, it like screams at me sometimes. It tells me to get in the tub. It's told me to cut my wrist in the tub before. It was a woman. To come in and cut my wrist in the bathtub. And um, that room too, no one even goes in that room. That's, the, that's where most of the activity is. It comes from there. I was 16 and I was in bed. I was sleeping and I would have this pain in my uh, side. Like, I, don't, I thought I was having like kidney failure almost because I kept having this pain. And then slowly it turned into an arm holding me. And it was a full figure, it was like a shadow. And I leaned up and it gave me a kiss. And I thought at the time it was my boyfriend, so I was like, you know, I kissed it back. And then it just cuddled with me. And ever since that day, I've just had something attached to me that won't leave. And my mom at the time, she was all into the ghost stuff. And she was, you know, calling spirits and stuff into the house and like doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I seriously think that something was called into the house and that was that shadow was something from the other side. She used to go 
and use one of her digital cameras and take pictures. She was into that kind of stuff, so she did that in the house all the time. She didn't believe me when I told her that it happened, and she, um, she kind of just shook it off. I was seeing um, shadows, and I would feel them climbing onto the bed, and they would hold me down and r me, and it's happened almost every night since then. I'm back in the house right now. Are you touching her legs? Somewhere right by you. I've also started hearing them, which is a strange thing because that just started happening two years ago. I started hearing them. I was hearing things and seeing the shadows, and um, they just put me on antipsychotics, thinking I was crazy. Despite being on several medications and seen by multiple doctors, no medical explanation has been discovered to explain the physical attacks on the sisters. Now my sister's having the same experiences and I just don't want my kids to have to deal with it. I really don't. My daughter has heard knocking. On the wall, she hears knocking. They crawl onto the bed, more than one of them, a few of them. They hold me down and they me and then they me and they as me. This is where it happens. This is, they usually start, they crawl up on the bed right here and they make me so weak. Energy, I like, I, I don't know, I just can't move. I feel it with me all the time. Like something's with me. I feel it with me, I feel it watching me. I feel it touching me. Like right now, it'll tell me that if I don't do what it wants me to do, that it is so I just go with it. And I've prayed, and I've tried all kinds of things to get it to stop, but it won't stop. And now it's happening to my sister. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know if I should feel relieved that I'm not crazy, or if I should feel another way. My whole life, I feel like I've had a, like a, a cloud over my head or something, like nothing's right, nothing goes right for me. And I, I feel like that might be because of all the energy, you know? I just don't feel right climb up my legs, they'll hold my arms down, and they'll hold my legs down, and then um, something will start licking me. There's a man that talks to me, and I wish he would. He wish he'd talk to me right now so we could get it on here. I just want to know, like, well, I just want it gone. I just want it away. I just want it gone. I want my kids to feel safe. They see things. They see shadows, too, sometimes, and now my sister's feeling it. She's feeling it crawling up her legs. It said it was a demon. <laughs> they don't tell me that she's in hell. And she'll scream. She'll scream and say, help me. And it's all in my ear. The sexual activity has now began affecting her twin sister. She has also agreed to talk about her experiences with this entity. You know, we heard what your sister's got to say, and it's pretty disturbing to say the least. So when did everything start with you, and what do you experience? And I was just laying in bed and it started climbing up onto the bed. And it feels like something little. It doesn't feel like, it feels like a, something, like a dog jumping on your bed. That's what it feels like to me. And you can feel the pressure on both sides of your body of where it's climbing with its arms up your legs. And you can feel the pressure, you can feel the hands, you can feel all of it. This is my spot here. And pretty much this is where The crawling usually starts right here. That's when he felt something jump right here. And my dog was laying with me, so it wasn't my dog. And my kids are so scared to sleep in their own room, they sleep down here in that bed. Like almost like a, almost like a cold chill-like thing. And then you would feel pressure, but you couldn't make out what it was. You couldn't make out if it was a hand. You couldn't make out if it was anything, really. You just had a sensation that something was there touching you. And then when it's the sexual part started. You knew something was there. You could feel it. Didn't know what it was at the, that time, and I, it almost, like your stomach will gurgle. I don't know what that is, but you can feel like energy, like you can't feel size or anything like that, but you can feel like the energy mm -hmm. entering you. And my stomach was making noises and, it just felt so off. It was just, it was really weird. Immediately, I, I didn't tell her right off the rip because I didn't want to scare her. I have to tell her, hey, you might not be crazy at all. So 
But yeah, you can feel it. My boyfriend feels. I felt the, the someone something jump on the bed. He felt he felt it immediately, and as soon as it did, he looked right down there, right at it, and he felt it. So if he can feel it, and I can feel it, it's got to, there's something there. And my bed starts moving. That's how it started. My bed kind of would shake a little bit, and it felt like something was under there, like crawling around or something. And then it would jump up on the bed, and then it would crawl up on me. And has your experiences gotten to the level as your sister's? No, no, no. Or... no. Okay. As soon as I felt it, I contacted you guys, because I'm not going to deal with that. My house has never been haunted. My, I've lived here 10 years. My kids grew up in this house. And even her ex has had paranormal experiences. He's been choked one time, laying next to her in our old house, the house where this all started. He was physically choked. He woke up choking. Well, we are twins. So is it possible that we're both have some kind of, they do s me. I knew it was happening. I put salt around the bed and everything. I would, she would sleep on the couch. I would run salt around the, the couch and everything. But it almost feels like she always had something wrapped around her or something, like a misty thing. It felt like something was there all the time. And even my mom was acting strange, I feel like, all the time. And what's crazy is they get in your head. Like, they're wanting to please you because it seemed like, to me, she was self-medicating, trying to get, like, some relief. If it was just happening to her? Yeah. You know, possibly we could look at it as medical right? and not something paranormal. Can we document the evidence to support what's going on here? I mean, if it's here, we'll find it. God showed me you guys for a reason. And maybe that, maybe this is the reason. And I'm not trying to put pressure on you or anything, but I'm just saying, like, I pray about it. And maybe God showed me, like, the answer to my problems. But you guys also have to stand up. To it, yeah. To it yourselves and take your lives back and take your house back and... She said, this is going to be weird. What if it does go away and I'll be lonely? In her mind, it's going to be sad, which is kind of scary for her to think that. She's going to get her life back. Everything's going to go back to normal. And then she's telling me that um, it's going to be lonely. Really strange feeling. It doesn't feel like a person, but it feels like a bunch of people, creatures, like little creatures, almost. I don't know if you believe in demons, but I almost think it is. He talks like dirty to me in my ear while it's happening. Prepared to let go of this? That's my fear because it, I feel like I've almost have like a relationship with this person, this th this thing. And I don't know if it's gonna be able to let go of me. I, I don't, I feel like I could probably let go of it. I, I will let go of it. But I'm scared that it's not gonna, it's not gonna go away. It's latched on, it's been with me for so long, I think. And have you, over time, gained emotions towards this demon? Yeah, I think I have because I talk to him all the time and it's been so long. I feel like I don't know what it's like to be normal. I feel like when I, when I, when it goes away that I'm going to be. I just think you're afraid to let go of this thing. I probably am. I just want it to go, though. I just want to be normal. I don't want to feel like this anymore. <laughs> I don't want it here. <sighs> it's telling me to stop crying right now. <laughs> but I feel it, too. I feel like it's attached so much that it's in my head now and like it hears what I'm saying, it hears what, what, it like knows what I'm thinking. I feel like it's literally in my head. Like it's gotten so bad that it's, it can read my mind. So if I think about anything, it, it, 
it yells at me about stuff. It just... I think maybe it knows tonight's the end. I think it does. It told me last night, you said this is going to be the last time. I want you to prepare yourself mentally, you know, to stand up. And the three of us will be here, your sister will be here, and we'll all fight this together. <sighs> okay? I just don't know what to do. It's on the bed. Like, I feel it. I'm on the bed all the time. I'm sorry. I'm going to take a minute. I'm sorry. For the safety of the sisters, we have asked them both to leave the house during our investigation. My brothers and I will attempt to communicate and document evidence of whatever's inside this house. What the hell is this? What's your... Something just flew up the side of your face. I felt something hit me right here. Yeah, it went straight up. It was like a... Like a ball of light. Yeah, I felt something hit me. Did you see me reach for it? And we're gonna start back here in the bedroom and kind of work our way through the house. Probably one of the most disturbing interviews we've ever done. And we're going to try to document as much evidence as we can and hopefully figure out what's going on inside this house and what is attacking these two sisters. So we've got alarms throughout the house. As we're standing here getting ready to go completely lights out, I felt something hit me on the side of the face and Rocky said that he thought he's seen a ball of light fly up towards my face. It literally felt like something like went like this against my ear. So hopefully that's on video. We'll go back and look at it. I think if there's, did you get something there? Something, yeah. I huh. just heard something out, out there in the front room. Something hit this side. Who keeps touching me? My name is Josh, this is Rocky and Sean. Whoever you are inside this house, show yourself to us right now. You've touched me twice. Can you touch Rocky and Sean? hearing that if you're walking can you walk in here with us they say that you crawl up on this bed who's inside this house right now come out and show yourself don't hide in the darkness like a knocking I'm going to stand right here for a second. Are you knocking out here? Are you knocking out here? Talk louder. You hear something? Yeah, I'm hearing voices. I can't hear with these headphones. I don't know if the audio is shut off or what. I heard you. You hear that, Sean? Yeah. Thumping. Yeah, it's like somebody's walking. I've got an alarm back in the back bedroom. Set our alarm off. The camera just turned. Hmm? The camera just turned on me. I think whatever it is, it's right back here with us. Whoa. Something just touched me right on the butt. And that was hard. What's right here off yeah, in front of you? Right here? Off to your right a little bit. There's a room right here. Yeah. What's in there? Because, uh... It's a laundry room. I kept hearing shit in there. Are you in here? Come forward and show yourself right now.
That's three times now I've been touched. Who keeps touching me? Did you just hear voices again? No. What'd you hear? It almost sounded like I heard a humming. Hear it? Knocking. Let's walk back to that other bedroom because that's where a lot of the physical attacks, the rapes and stuff like that are going on is back in this back bedroom. And I swear that's where that knocking's coming from. Ooh. There was a growl. There was a growl from this room right here. Who made that growling sound? If you're a demon, do something. Show us how powerful you are. I keep hearing, did you hear that over there too? Yeah. I heard that earlier. You want Rocky? Right here he is. Do something. It's like something's sticking a needle on my leg. Are you touching Rocky's leg? We're here now. We're not afraid of you. We're going to stand up to you. Show us what you got right now. There's definitely something in that room. I'm almost afraid to walk back in this room. I think, you know, when we were doing the walk. Why would you be afraid to walk back here? Huh? Why would you be afraid to walk back here? The girls it's, are walking back here all the time. I know, but it's creepy. Mm -hmm. And walking through the house earlier, these two rooms back here, mm -hmm. it literally makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. I think that's where the knocking is coming from. Something again right here. I keep getting something's like tapping me. We got an alarm right here. Can you come sit on the bed? Crawl on the bed and set our alarm off. What kind of an evil monster crawls on the bed and somebody? That's what you are. You're an evil monster. This feels like it's like rubbing up against the hair on my arm. Mm -hmm. That's all my taps and stuff have been fairly light. That's why I think this thing is a coward with us here. He can abuse women. But when a man stands up to you, you can't do anything. And that's how most abusers are in life. You can hurt women, but the first time a man stands up to you, you're a coward. Show us who you are right now. In yeah, this room, I feel like I'm about ready to pass out in here. I think the best way to, you know, like when you take like sinus medicine and you feel drowsy, that's what I feel like just standing here. Like my eyes are burning. You're going to talk to us tonight one way or another. I've got a device here that you can communicate with us. I want you to come forward and talk to us. We believe you're here. Can you hear me, yes or no? You hear that? Yes, I hear you. What is your name? 
Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. He goes, Where are you at right now? What is your name? Did you hear that? Yeah. Huh? It's like one of these toys moved, wasn't it? It goes. Was that you? Me. Who is me? Something keeps touching my ears. Did you touch me? Sean. Touch Sean then. Let's move into her bedroom. Keep saying Sean. Are you in this bedroom? Where are you at? What is that? <gasps> it's right here. Who are you? What the f is that? Who are you? She said she hears knocking and stuff on the walls. Sean, give me the camera. Sean, you give me the camera and we'll run a spirit box session back in her bedroom. What room am I sitting in? Oh, it's right here. Did you hear it? That was a girl. Said living room. Can you see me? Do something to me. Go back there. Sound like it's just right there at the kitchen. Am I going the right way? Are you in the kitchen? Are you a demon? Tell me your name. Just put it over your head. Like a ball. Just put it in your Do you keep following the sister around? Why do you keep following her around? Are you attacking both sisters? Are you scared of Josh? Do you know what Josh is going to do to you? He's going to make you leave. How many people's in this house? Walking, walking back here. It said here. Are you behind Josh? What room are you in?
I don't know, but that little kid's voice that keeps coming across. I'm sorry, but it's creepy. Do something. Help. Where are you at so I can help you? I just want to talk to the kid, nobody else. Are you scared? I'm not scared. Do you want us to help you get out of here? Is there somebody hurting you? How old are you? Do you wish you could play with all them toys back there in that bedroom? If we go back there, will you turn one of the toys on for us? Come over here to me. I promise we're going to help you get out of here tonight. No, we're not going to help you. Be aggressive with him. He's a woman. What happens if I'm sitting here just trying to talk to a kid? There's no kid that's in women. Well, I'm not saying there. It may not just be one spirit. I say call it out. Why am I here? As Josh said, we'll just make you leave then. Was your when you was alive? Now you're going to be a coward and can't face us? We don't care if you knock on stuff. Demons do more than knock. Whoa. Jesus Christ, money. Do something bigger. I know I'm pissing you off. Whoa. What, what move? A bag. Rocky, can you step back? Way back. Somebody get a wide shot of this table. Shut. A bag moved on the table right here. Did you hear that, Rocky? Yeah, I heard. A bag moved. That's what I like. I like aggravating you. Pushing you. Let's see what else you got. We faced you as children. We're prepared to take you on right now. Show yourself, coward. Huh? Is that baby cry? Sound like a baby crying. Holy right beside me. We're bringing back in the house. They're going to face you. And tonight this ends. Tonight, she's going to break up with you. She's going to leave you and force you out. She doesn't love you or care about you. Are you back here? I know I upset you. This is the room. Oh, God! What the f***? Holy sh I heard it. It f***ing hit me too in the back. Give me the camera, give me the camera. What's rolling? Holy That was the loudest thing we've heard tonight. Dude, I'm telling you, whatever it did that, then it was like it freaking just jabbed me right back. Holy Come here. Okay. Go, go, go. No way. Look. The f desk. I promise you that desk wasn't like that. Whatever it was, it's not like it hit this wall right here. That's what it, to me, I know it. Well, that's what I'm saying. It freaking did something, then it like nailed my back right here, whatever it was. Holy crap.
crap. Is Josh pissing you off? I think you understand what Josh is trying to say. That he means business. He's going to take care of you tonight. You're not going to be taking care of nobody. Okay, let's step outside. Let's just take a break, and then we'll get the girls back in here. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think we need to have the cameras and everything set up, her in bed. And then once midnight hits, see what happens. All alone inside the house. This is the bedroom. It's just you and me now. Come forward and show yourself. I will say out of all the rooms in the house, this bedroom is creepier than shit. Hit something hard for me. Oh. A scream. Something's got me right here. burning sensation in my hand felt like a needle like I was getting a shot walking is that what you needed me by myself I do not like sitting on that bed I'm going to take the camera out here in the hallway I keep hearing. It's just me and you. Where are you? <gasps> walking. Alarm's going off. Walking. I heard you walking behind me. I'm in here now. So I think what we need to do right now is we'll bring the girls back in here. See how the activity changes. Because if something is attached to her, she may be the catalyst to this haunting. We've got back in the house right now. Are you touching her legs? Oh, something went right by you. Come in here and show yourself. I got you mapped out, so ask it to come sit with you. After wrapping up our investigation, we have decided to move forward with the cleansing. We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We ask that you defend us as we enter into battle and be our protection against all things wicked and evil. Lord, we ask that you please watch over and keep them safe and anything that may be attached to them, drive it away. Lord, we ask that you fill this darkness with the light of the Holy Spirit. We seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. We close all entryways, doorways, and portals inside this house. It is Jesus Christ who has authority over this house now. We seal this mirror with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. We seal this bedroom with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. It is Jesus who has authority over this house. Any demonic entities inside this house, we cast you out. And I want you to guard over this family and keep them safe, keep your children safe. We cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We seal this bed with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Any and all spirits inside this house, you can no longer enter this room or climb on this bed. This bed is sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ. He has authority over this house and over this room. Thank you guys for coming out. We can definitely sense the change. Um, it's a lot lighter in here. Uh, we haven't had any issues at night so far. 
Yeah, it's been like the first time I've slept good in a long time. All and right. It feels good. Thanks again. Thank you so much. What is it? It's upstairs. I compel you to leave! Go back to where you've come! But what if this thing is just trying to separate us? Footsteps. Go. Whoa. No. 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 Dude, something just came running at me. Come. There's several factors that could come into play as to what you're actually dealing with. Just depends on how old it is, where it came from, if somebody was playing with a Ouija board. My brothers and I were recently contacted by Paranormal Quest to help with a family haunting case. Learning that several people have been attacked while inside this home, we approach this case with caution. Something has gone horribly wrong in that house that would make people want to hurt themselves to the point where they're no longer breathing. The first time I seen the guy in the basement with the boots, I was doing laundry. I looked over by the hot water tank, he was standing there. He had boots on, big, big boots. That's what I noticed first, and a long beard. Things just started happening after that. The, I didn't see the creature man until six months into this house, and then I seen him crawling up the steps. I see this little girl all the time running, as she was running through the house. The creature man started making himself more known. He would start, come to my door, like the threshold of my door of my bedroom, and he would look at me, and he would stare at me. He's in my body. He gets to where I, I'm subconsciously, I can see everything going on. I can't move though, I cannot move. When I'm sleeping, he'll touch my face. Very vivid, vivid, gruesome dreams. He gets inside of me, it's a sensation, like it, it's burning. It's a burning sensation and it just, my brother was staying here in that back bedroom. He goes nuts, he, start, he just got suicidal. It's just an ongoing thing, this house, it talks to me, this, they talk to me in this house. He, they tell me, What's like what to say, what to do, where to go. The smells in this house are atrocious. I just cleaned the lady's stuff out of the basement that was here that got messed up in here and her boyfriend committed suicide. He committed suicide. It tells me you're not I'm not gonna leave this house willingly. Like I'm not gonna go on my own, on my own free will. It's not gonna let me. It's gonna end up being tragic. It, it, every, every human form that's came in here has done something terrible to me. <laughs> got suicidal. Still to this day, he will not come to this house and he won't talk about this house. They came here and they talked to it and they did, they did the blessing or whatever. He, it, was, it was okay for three days. On the fourth day, all hell broke loose. Things started flying. The metal cabinet in the basement that was stuck to the wall falls over. I know when they're coming because I, I can hear them, I can smell them, and I can sense them. But it's strong, whatever it is. The smell to him is just repugnant. It's just disgusting. It smells like rotting flesh is what it smells like. Now he's back stronger than ever. I'm thinking maybe somebody performed some satanic rituals, opened a portal that they had no clue that what they were doing in this house. The, the, the drawings on the basement wall, the demonic drawings, all of that, it's just, I'm the only person in, that lives in this house. Nobody else will live here with me and I can't get out. Nobody stays here. I've sold everything in this house. I've got rid of everything just to get out. I've had my clothes in the car and got a call it's fell through. Wait, oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. He knows that he's, he knows what's going on. Listen, he knows what's going on. That's the smell I smell, then I see him appear. I see it appear. I can hear him all the time. They're homicidal dreams that I'm shooting, killing people and drinking blood. And then I'll wake up with it like an iron taste in my mouth, like I'm chewing on a penny. It's to the point I haven't left my bedroom in three months. I go from my bedroom to the bathroom. I don't come down here for nothing because I'm not, I can't do it. I know what's in that basement. I know what's in there. I know that's where he dwells. He, when I say he gets in my body, I can't move. I don't know why I can't move. I can't say nothing. I can't scream. I can't do nothing. I'm just numb. And I see shit changing in front of my face. Like, my house isn't my house. I invited them into my home, and I let this, whatever is going on in here attack them, whether it be physically, mentally, emotionally. I, I, I let it happen. The back bedroom, I don't even want to talk about because I don't even open that door. That, that is a very bad room very bad room. Something is not right in that room. I'm not going to be able to leave this house. I'm not going to be able to leave here because every time I try to leave here, something drastic happens. When this creature thing comes, that's when business is going down. I didn't summons no, nothing, nothing at all. I didn't summons anything at all. 
I want to know what the hell you want from me. What can I do to make my life just a tad bit easier? I haven't left my bedroom in three months. Nothing stops this thing. Let me ask you this, because when we were, when you were sitting over there getting ready to come over, it looked like you were getting very angry or irritated or upset. What was going through your mind and what were you thinking about whenever you were getting upset? What the f are they doing here? What is this in my thoughts? Get the f out, period. I don't want like nobody in this house but me. Somebody got their throat cut in here, like some evil shit is going on in here. So people have died in here. Oh, right? absolutely. You're not going to go anywhere willingly. You're not going to just leave on your own free will. We're not going to let, it's not going to let me go anywhere. I've had the chance five times over. Tell me. I don't know why. I, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I mean, it's your situation. What do you, what keeps you from leaving this house? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm so uncomfortable, but at the same time, this is where I feel like I have to be. It's like this thing's got a hold on you. It does. It, yes, it does. Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. I'm getting to the point where I don't care anymore. Just take, just let's get it over with. Do what you're going to do to me and let's just get it over with. Because at this point, that might be better than what the f you're putting me through. But it doesn't like your presence. I do feel the cold. I do. It just came down the stairs. What do you think's in here? Yeah. Satan. The devil's advocate. I, it, it, this house is more powerful than it's ever been and, and since, I, since I've lived here, and it's been two years now. Do you think that he is trying to drive people away from you, or do you think he's trying to drive these people to hurt you? What's that? What did you say? I said, do you think that he's trying to drive people away from you, or do you think whatever this is, is trying to drive people to hurt you because it wants to hurt Maybe you. Maybe a little of both. Are you alright? You changed there. Like you I'm fine. I'm just, no, I'm, I'm fine. Okay. You smell that? He's here. He's in this room. You don't, you smell that. I'm not, listen, he's here. He's in this room with us. He's in this room with us. He's going to show you what you want to see. He's going to show you what he wants you to see. We were here and we experienced activity earlier today. We experienced stuff, but it, it, you didn't seem to get extremely upset or angry until they got here. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But now that it sees other people are coming and other people are aware of it, do you think that maybe upsets it? I don't know, but I know he's going to, he's going to show you what you want to see. He'll show you what you want to see. He'll show you what you want to see. I don't know. Is he in you or near you now? He's here. He's here. It's almost like your eyes and everything's like changed. You like this death stare. He's here. Yeah, I can hear him. He talks to me. Who were you before this house? Like, what type of person were you before you moved in here? I want to go through this. It tells me to do bad things. Like, it wants me to hurt things and. It's not scary to me anymore. It's getting just to the point where it's just annoying. I don't know what he wants me to do. No, I'm not comfortable. I'm not at all. That's just it. You kind of lost the will to stand up and... I don't care anymore to this point. I just want him, what do you want from me? That's all, what do you want from me? That's all. I guess it just wants me, period. It don't want me to go nowhere. It don't want me to leave. It don't want me to do anything. The I see through the eyes of this thing. I see through his eyes. I see what's going on. I see what he wants me to see. Let's just get it over with. What do you need me to do? 
I'm tired. You don't have to keep taunting me. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm the only one in this big ass house. It's me 24 seven. So I'm the only thing that this thing has to feed off of and whoever else he wants to bring along. I don't know if the little guy, I think the little girl's him too. Like she'll run down the steps. Come here, come here, come here. Down the steps. Trying to persuade me down here. Stand at my doorway. Just look at me, glare at me. I just want to get it over with. Whatever you want to do to me, just get it done. Let's just get it over with. I don't care. You can feel the warm blood through your hands. You can, you can taste it. I looked up and it was off. I turned, mine did, it just turned on. I looked up and it was just, <laughs> just off. And I was like, what the hell? Because I looked up there not even a couple minutes ago and it was on. But I'm just scared of the power it does possess. I'm not going to lie, I'm scared of the power it possesses. I rebuke the f***ing thing all the time. In the name of Christ, I rebuke you. Get the f And just touches me like my face. I can go on my neck and then all of a sudden I'm sitting up and I can't scream, I can't move. I can't do anything. Where did it come from? It sounded like that way. Yeah. You heard. I'm going to show you what you want to see. I'm going to show you. He wants to play a game. He's going to play a game with you. It just, it just shut off again. Like I just told you, he's going to play a game with you. This camera just keeps shutting off. Yeah, but my batteries went way down. I don't understand that. <laughs> He's going to get you. He's going to get you. He's going to get you. I told you he's going to play a game with you. How dangerous is this house? It's, it's a playground. It's a playground. We're, We're just, just the children. children. He's going to play. He, he wants, wants to play. play. It wants to play. She wants to play. Watch. Watch what I tell you. It's funny, actually. Nobody's really safe ever in a house like this because we think we can shun it away. It's not going to go anywhere. This is his place. He's not going to go anywhere. He's been here for thousands of years. You'll see. I don't know. There's nothing prayer's going to do to help it. Not at all. Just bat it wasn't, the battery wasn't dead before, but now it is. I, I think I should go to my room now. I just feel, I, I think I should go to my room right now. Can we come with you? No, uh, sure. Uh, I don't know. If you want to, oh, I don't know. Upstairs. We should be in my room. I should be in my room. I'm safe here. I'm safe here. The problem is, he gave you an order, and you listened to it. And I don't think you have any control over the situation. <laughs> I've done this hundreds of times, but I'm not afraid of him at all. In my basement, I, I swear, is a portal to hell. It's a well that's filled in. It's just, they've done satanic rituals down there. They've drawn demons on the walls. They, they let something in this house that's so, they didn't know what they were doing. And they've let them in here. And everybody that's been in this house has ended up in some type of horrific tragedy. Does his game include giving us answers? Finding out what he wants from you? It's pissed. It's pissed. It's yeah. pissed. We came here to help you. We're not worried about us. At all. You know? 
whether he has some purpose for us or not, we're here to help you. That's the whole reason that we came here. And we have a lot of people here that are pulling for you. And we're ready to stand up and fight this thing if you are. That's all we can do is try. Yeah, thousands of years, you know that? Right? Yeah. Thousands of years. It's been and we don't have to get rid of him. Earth. We don't. We don't have to beat beat him. We have to beat him, as in get you out of whatever he has you in, get you away from him, and then the rest we can worry about later. He wants you to feel like you're crazy. Because what what does that do? That pushes you away from everyone else. If you feel like you're crazy, you're not going to talk to people. footsteps right here on this uh, like landing. And we're the only ones in the house. Yes, everybody else is. Her cousin left and everybody else is outside. I don't know. I haven't even checked nothing out yet. They were in the bathtub. Yeah. yeah you could see them clear. There's on. Yeah, I got them on my stomach. And yeah. The scratches are burning up though. He's here. Yeah, I mean, I still hear him. I hear him. There's a lot of work to do here. That's why we're here. Well, good luck. I'll pray for you. Don't let it attach itself to you. It's strong. He'll take over you. This house could burn to the fucking ground right now. I wouldn't care. Whatever you have to do, don't let it attach itself. Whatever you do. Because it's strong. And now it's pissed. What'd you hear? Chain, what, chains? Rattle? Yeah, it was weird. I've heard it. There's like chains. Somebody's rattling chains. Wait, rattling chains? Dave. Yes. What did you hear up here earlier when you came up to use the restroom this morning? I heard it sounded like right. something moving in like a jewelry box type sound. Yeah, it sounded yeah. like chains rattling out here yeah, when we was in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of, that's why when you said chains rattling, it kind of yeah. sounded like. Yeah, while standing in the bathroom, you could hear it. It sounded like it was coming from the hallway, but I mean, it could have been from one of these rooms. Mm -hmm. Where's the room that she said not to go in? Uh, it's like a chain. Down chain. by the bathroom. It wasn't there. That's not why. When we got here. That's literally the same kind of scratch she had on her legs. Really? Mm hmm. Yeah. Literally, we're just sitting here planning out, trying to figure out how we're going to start the investigation, and we look over at Dave's arm and didn't. So you felt burning? Yeah, we were just sitting here, and I just felt it burning, and I looked. She had similar scratches like that on her. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It still burns. It's weird. I'm trying to figure out why she is... It's almost like she's trying to pass whatever's on in here off on you. Yeah, I mean, I kind of get that vibe because she's, I don't know, for some reason she just keeps, I don't know, she kept telling 
What did she say earlier? She kept saying it's going to manipulate you. Felt like I was poked in the back whenever I was downstairs. And, and we've been here all day today, and we've heard all throughout this house all yeah. day. We've all had experiences. I say let's just get shit ready and let's do it. Yeah. See, see what's in this house, and if they're ready to come out and make themselves known, because she may be the catalyst to whatever's inside this house. Over the years, my brothers and I have faced some of the most dangerous hauntings. We do not believe this demonic entity has left this house. You guys left me up there. I even shut off all the lights and came down. You smell, you smell that? Whoops, hold on that. Here, what'd you say? I just smelled something. Yeah, I smell it too. Off to the right. If you're up here with me, shut it. Was that you? Holy sh! Are you? Huh? Dude, I just asked it to. That sound. Yeah. Flew out of the tent. I just sat there and asked for it to do something, and then that happened. Yeah, I heard something. I heard the towel. That over and that towel flew out of the towel onto the floor. I was like, oh my god. We just wrapped up all the interviews. Crazy, crazy, crazy ass day. And we've pretty much been experiencing activity like nonstop since we walked inside this house. Paranormal Quest just left. They're gonna come back later tonight and investigate with us. But right now, Rocky and Sean and I are inside the house. What the hell was that? That was loud. Holy crap, I think I was right behind me. Whoever's in this house, my name is Josh, this is Rocky and Sean. We want you to come out and talk to us. It's not like it's upstairs. It's running upstairs. That Holy was for sure. It's still running. Yeah, I heard that. Let's see if that ran part. We've got a device on the steps. Come down the stairs to us. Come downstairs. We're not afraid of you. You knew we were coming here. And you're... Oh, Came down the steps. Yeah. Back away from it. Oh. Did you hear that? That was loud. Yeah. I don't even have headphones on. Hey. Did you just hear that growl? You hear that? Mm-hmm. Hit something hard for us. Can you walk away from it? You hear that female? Yeah. I think it wants us to go upstairs. What the f That was a growl. That's why I told you. Let's do it again. Oh, I don't mean that. That's only one freaking thing. Hey, in listen. There. There's one room upstairs that she said nobody will go into. Yeah. And that's the room that everybody goes, when they go in there, they get suicidal. Let's go up that area. Let's go. Maybe that's why, that's going off, going upstairs. Maybe it's trying to tell us. And this upstairs is so f***ing dark. And you guys see that? You guys just walked by that thing and it did not go off at all. This room energy in here is just absolutely holy shit go. what the hell i just heard footsteps go holy f oh stop cussing there was footsteps came right behind me okay we're up here with you now we don't fear you we've seen what you did to me earlier 
We think you're a coward. People come in this house and you make them do bad things. Josh, hurry up, sit down. I can't breathe. Hold on. Are you affecting Sean? Hey, my lungs are so tight right now. Holy Man, that hurts. Thank you, that's hurt. Holy crap. Here, take this camera and mean Rocky will stay up here. Give me that paper. I can take it. Holy crap. God, Josh. What? Oh my God, I seriously can't. That fucking hurts. Holy. Holy. What is it? It's upstairs, it's just slammed the wall. Film him. Who are you? Cut. Show yourself right now. I'm up here. <gasps> Did you hear that? It's banging on the walls. Rocky, come up here, hurry. I told you. It's in this room that she said to stay out of. I told you that's where it was. Dude, that was loud. Go in there. It's right here. No, it's this one. It's this one. Where are you at? Freaking coward. Strong enough, slam on these doors. Just stop, stop. I know, go back to this back bedroom. I, I know it's this back bedroom. Is that all you can do? I'll tell you, this is where it's coming from. Holy shit, man. That freaking hurt. I mean, that hurt freaking bad. Oh, what the hell happened? We're up here now. Is it walking? You not like that we're trying to help? She stands up against you now. See, you're not that strong unless you're attached to somebody. Oh, <gasps> what the hell is that? Go out the hallway. That was freaking loud. Yeah. Did you hear that, Rocky? Yeah. It was like a male voice, real deep. I thought I went downstairs. Sean. What? Sean. Go in the bathroom real quick. Because you guys had that thing. The towel? Yeah. See if it, it's in there. Did you not like Josh in here earlier? Shut that alarm off. I want you up here. Hey, Josh. What? You got to take over the phone. Would your battery go down? Yeah. How long have you been here? Do you hear that? Mm-hmm. Did you come when they wrote all that stuff on the basement? Talk about Satan and everything? Walking. I heard a female. Let's go back to her room. I don't know. To me, her room feels like, as far as all the rooms, that feels the creepiest. I mean, just look down there it, for some reason. Uh, no. You sure? Smell that? That smells like death right there. Right there where you got Rocky smell. Oh, yeah. That's like a dead body. You smell that? Yeah. It smells like a freaking dead animal or something. It almost feels like you're dragging your feet, too. 
like you get that uneasy feeling, but it's like you can't hardly lift your feet while you're walking. Yeah. It is the weirdest feeling. Yeah, this room's definitely colder. Oh man, I feel, my, my body feels so tight right now. It's like when we walked up here and we walked in this room, it's just like hitting a brick wall. I mean, my chest just, it felt like somebody grabbed my lungs and just squeezed and as tight as they could. I couldn't freaking breathe in the pain. I mean, I thought I was going to be in tears there for a second. It's something. <laughs> yeah, I just heard it too. Do you not like us in the room? If you don't want me in here, do something to make us leave. Hey Josh, what? let's bring that up here and set it in the hallway up here. Okay. Yeah, and then let's go downstairs and we'll turn this baby monitor on. You got that, don't you? Because no. earlier. What is it? It's in here. What'd you hear? What the hell is that? I want to tell about you. I know. Sounds like it's in this closet right behind me. Come out and show yourself. We're not hiding. It's tapping in this freaking closet. Come over here, Josh. The knocking you hear on these walls is absolutely bizarre. The freaking bang was right here. It's bizarre. Are you over here? <laughs> Quit. Are you serious? We're here to help. Tonight, you're going to leave. We've seen how you affect her. Can you affect one of us? Are you a demon? Are you a human spirit? Let's go down and try this monitor. Okay, head down upstairs. Josh, don't leave me. I'm not leaving you. If you talk to us upstairs, we can hear you. We got an alarm on the bed. Are you down in the basement? No, things back on the steps. Uh huh? Things back on the steps. Just leave that alone. I'll go over the steps. Me? Yeah. I mean, it seems like it holds those steps. Where are you at? Come on, it's time to come out and play. You hear that? You said you were going to play with us. Come on, you don't want to let me down. She talked you up and talked about how brave you were and how scary you were. You go up there. What are you doing? We're not talking. Go to your left. Just, just hold on. Go up there, wherever the, the baby monitor is. Mm -hmm. sit, sit with the camera. And then I'll sit with Sean on the couch, like we did um, at the house that Road took us to, where the pipe moved. 
And now we're just hearing like voices. I don't want to be upstairs by myself with this thing. It's okay. I don't know if I want to go up here by myself. Think of all the places you've sent me. Yeah, but this is you this house me is in a freaking crawl space with a freaking spider. This house is this all right, isn't... just go ahead and go. She lives here every we, day. We okay, but what her. if this thing is just trying to separate us? Are you up there? What's beeping? It's going nuts already. What's beeping? It's the alarm up there! Oh, walking. Yeah, I heard it. Oh, no, no f***ing way. Walking in a... Cold chill. I'm backing down. You set this alarm off right next to me. You come up here and you touch that alarm or get close to it, you can make it make a noise. Oh, holy sh I'm sitting right next to it on the bed. I got freaking cold chills. Thank you. Don't be nice to it. It's a demon. What? Don't be nice to it. It's a demon. I'm up here longer than you. Just don't be nice to it. Okay. Something hit me right in the eye. Tell me your name. Is that banging coming Mother. from downstairs with you? Something just hit Josh in the eye. Huh? Something just hit Josh in the eye. It hit him. Why'd you hit Josh? I feel like something took its finger and poked me right in the f***ing eye. That f***ing hurt. Hey Rocky! Huh? This thing's hurt me, it's hurt Josh. He punched Josh in the other eye? I think I just seen a shadow figure. Black shadow figure on the wall in front of me. We're not leaving, we're gonna stay here all night. Oh sh! What the okay. Let's go. Is that you? No, it's kitchen. Huh? Kitchen. That fucking shook the whole Perfect. floor. Get down here. That fucking shook the upstairs. Who was that? Show yourself. Holy sh! It shook, it shook the whole, the whole upstairs. Oh, it's so loud down here. I heard it upstairs. Oh, come here, fill this. Holy reason. Put oh. your hand here. You feel that? Yeah. Uh, it's freezing, Josh. You trying to scare us? Come on, you hurt me. It's like right here. You hurt Josh. It's like a step and right we're here. still here. You can't scare us. Tell me what your name is right now. If you're still upstairs, set that alarm off again for me. Stop being a coward. Did you not like Rocky up there by himself? You didn't like it that you couldn't scare him, did you? Holy sh I heard footsteps. Then the alarm. Shut the alarm off if you want Rocky to come back up there. Are you upstairs? Yes. Yes. If you're upstairs, have you been setting the alarm off? Can you set the alarm off for me right now? Can you tell me what your name is? Did you die in this house? Did you attach yourself? Attach. Attach, yeah. I heard that. 
Are you still attached to her? Yes. Yeah. Is trying to pass you on to somebody else? Hey, the alarm. Basement. Basement. Go to the It said hole? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Behind, right there. I guarantee it. It says hole. Watch out, move. It's talking about outside. Is this the hole? Where's the writing at? Back there. Do you want me to go back where the writing is on the wall? Are you down here with me right now? Am I going the right way? Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Why? Is this where you want to stand? Go stand by that. Where? The demon thing on the wall. I never saw it. Oh. Is this where you wanted me to be? The demon. Is this your portal to get in and out? Say just say. Is this how you've been just getting say. in and out in this house? Is there a dead body in this basement? I only want them. If I thought what I heard... I thought it said yes, sure. sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's it where. Am I standing on the dead body? There have been murders in this house. Ask if he was killed here. Was you killed here? I'm going to see if I like you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it's attacked you and it's attacked me. My name is Josh. What is your name? Why are you inside this house? Do I make you mad? Is that all you can do is hit, knock on walls? Where are you going? What's the What the f is that? There ain't nothing there. Something just touched the side of my face. Yeah, there ain't nothing there. Is this where you hide the basement? Validate to us that you're down here. If you want to physically do something, do it. You don't have no more. Free. Now in SB7 mode. What do you want with Where is he at right now? She's at something. That's good. Who was messing with her earlier? Who was messing with me earlier?
Why do you say Rocky's name? Help. Did you hear that? Help. I hit my foot on that. What the hell was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. I hit my foot on that and it goes, ouch. What the hell was that? I don't know. Oh, man. Are you back here? Uh, Whoa! Oh, oh. Something just came up, was coming up the steps. I've got a device right there. If you come up those steps, you'll set our alarm off. Come up here to us. You keep setting the one upstairs off. Try setting this one off. There's Walter. We're going to bring Paranormal Quest in here shortly. That means Dave is coming back inside this house. Oh. Oh, thank you. Why don't we leave all the way over here? You mean it wants Dave back inside the house? Yep. You know, Dave's going to stand up to you tonight. Oh, Hey, Rocky, can you see that alarm, too? Every time I say mention Dave's name, it goes off. Yeah, but Josh, let's see how powerful this thing is. Let's see if it can set both alarms off at the same freaking time. Okay. So I'm just, well, I'm just gonna film over here up the steps, okay? Okay, you've done a lot of neat tonight. Can set the alarm upstairs off too. Can you do both alarms at the same time? Come on, demon. Let's see how powerful you are. Oh, there's that little one. This one and the one upstairs yeah. off. Set the one upstairs off first. You said you were going to play with us tonight. That's both, man. Mm hmm. Is it blue? No, it's both of them. Holy. The one upstairs going off. Yeah. Yours is going nuts. Yep, yeah, right now it is. It's going upstairs. Holy. Can you shut that door? Did you hear that? The walking inside this place is absolutely... I've never been in a place where you hear so much walking and banging. Yeah, I just heard something scooting upstairs, Josh. Oh, oh, upstairs. I just heard something again. Set the alarm up off upstairs if you want us to come up there. Okay, I'm gonna head back up to the bathroom. Just let me know when you come back. No, come up here with me. Whoa! No, no, no. Dude, something just came running at me. Holy Dude. Like something pressed on the door. If you just look at everything that we've had today, it's pretty crazy. Yeah.
you walk back over to the device you've got us all in here now what'd you hear? it's like a male voice Are you touching that again? If you're touching that, can you get closer to it? K2. K2 is going crazy. Horse tape's holding it. That was weird. This hasn't gone off all night. Mm -hmm. You know, occasionally you'll get like a piece of equipment that goes off during the investigation, but literally this house has set off every piece of equipment we've brought into this house. There yeah. Goes, there it goes. There it's like goes. it's like alternating. Can you do the one upstairs? I wasn't even facing this. No, he wasn't. He wasn't close to me when it went off. Let me walk over by the stairs. Why does it keep alternating like that? It's just like going from piece of equipment to piece of equipment. And what did she say before she left? Remember during the interview? Mm-hmm. She said, this thing is going to play with you tonight. Mm -hmm. She said it's going to play with us and it wants to, it wants to play with the children, is what she said. Yeah. Which is creepy. We got an alarm up in her bedroom. Can you set that off for me? Sound like something said no. We heard that earlier. Did you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it said no. Yeah, it said, because I asked her to do something, she said no. I feel like that it's chirping upstairs. You think those batteries are almost dead? No, shouldn't should be. be. It was a, a fully, fully charged battery whenever we wait, wait, bring. Wait, wait, wait. Really? Yeah. Are you in this room with us? We're not hiding. So why are you hiding? Oh shit, shit, shit. So Whoa. And that went off at the same Holy oh, dude, that was so that was right in here again. Here we go. Be careful. Why do you always tell me to go? Because I'm recording you. Are you back here? Sorry, Ryan. That's alright. That's what I did earlier. I wrapped myself around his leg and I thought it was... I grabbed his fucking arm. <laughs> you ain't so running. I don't know, that was loud. You guys have to get used to Sean <laughs> pushing you in the way. Yeah. Oh, I grabbed his freaking arm. I was like, hey, get over here. The house shook. Yeah, it was even louder than that. And whatever's in this house is like a whole nother level. It's crazy. Just so that everybody knows, that is not the furnace because we'd have the heat turned off. Yeah, we, we have the furnace completely turned off. And we had that earlier. We sh the heat and everything was off, so. Yeah. There's no, like, sump pump in the basement or anything either, so it's not that. Mm -hmm. Whatever the hell that was, it's hitting something or, I mean, to me, it sounds like it's like trying to freaking go through a damn door. But, it wasn't that like bad. that, but earlier, it was the whole house that shook. But you gotta think too, when this thing does stuff, what do people normally do? Run. They get the hell out of the house. We haven't left. Uh -oh. So you're just pissing it off. Did that pan move in there? Is that what the noise Yeah, there's was? a pan in there that she says moves. But I just want to try it, because upstairs, oh, oh, that moved. Right yeah, oh, I know, that's why it should. We got dishes moving on the cupboard. No, you did not move at all. Uh -uh. It kind of sounded like, uh, almost like porcelain yeah. scraping together, or like metal on metal. Like a pan moving on another pan or something like that. 
But I just want to try it because upstairs. Oh, oh, that moved. Right yeah, I know. And that's why it should. I swear I see something small run across these floors. I'm out of here. <laughs> you know we're going to do a cleansing, don't you? Where are you at? After this investigation, I reach out to the paranormal clergy for advice on how to handle this case. Nobody should be in the house by themselves, Josh. That's, that's not a good plan. And I can feel your tension from here. This is the first time I truly feel uncomfortable cleansing a house by myself. I would never want anything to happen to you would cause you any type of long-lasting harm. Seems like there's a lot of anger in that house. Something just got awful. These things can actually follow you home and lay dormant for a long time until it decides to strike. I know you guys and I know what you're capable of. Shortly after the investigation, we received disturbing news. We've attempted to reach out to the homeowner on multiple occasions. I don't think you should do it. I don't get a good feeling about the house. If it's truly sinister based on the murders and the suicides, you guys could be in some pretty serious trouble. There's things that are going on in that structure that have been going on for a really long time. It's gonna fight back, and it'll fight back definitively. I know you really want to help her. I, I don't think you should do it. That's my opinion, and I'll stand on it. Because I love you guys, and I would never, ever want to see you get hurt. We believe the key to finding out why this home is haunted lies in the basement. Although we have reached out to the homeowner multiple times so that we can search this basement further, we have had no response. Maybe she really didn't want the help, or maybe something was telling her not to accept the help. Whatever happened that night happened that night, and we can look back on the evidence and say that we, that we tried our best to help this woman. We can't lose ourselves in the process, and I think that's why we decided we had to just walk away from it.